There are many risk factors for coronary heart disease, called CHD. Poor diet, smoking, drugs, obesity, genetics, gender and stress are just some of the risk factors. Most of these risk factors cause a raised blood pressure. High blood pressure damages the inside walls of the coronary artery. This leads to fatty layers or fatty deposits building up and reducing the blood flow to the heart, as you can see here. Reduced blood flow means less oxygen to heart muscle, less energy for muscle contraction. Heart cells die. This is called a heart attack. The pain you feel during a heart attack is caused by the reduction in oxygen leading to anaerobic respiration and painful lactic acid. Coronary heart disease can be treated by inserting a stent, a metal cage with a balloon inside. The balloon is blown up and then removed, leaving behind the metal cage which holds open the coronary artery. This increases blood flow to the heart, more oxygen to heart muscle and less chance of a heart attack. We can see here the stent inside the coronary artery, pushing it open and allowing blood flow. The pros of stents. They lower the risk of heart attack. As they increase blood flow to the heart muscle, this means more oxygen is delivered, so there's more aerobic respiration and more energy for muscle contraction. Stent surgery is quick and has quick recovery times. The effects are immediate and they last a long time. However, the downside to stents is that they require surgery and with all surgery, there is a risk of infection. And there is a risk of thrombosis, which is a blood clot at the site of the stent. And this could lead to a heart attack in itself. Another option for treating coronary heart disease and so reducing the chance of a heart attack is the medicine called statins. Low density lipoprotein cholesterol is a key risk factor in the buildup of fatty deposits inside the coronary artery. As we saw before, fatty deposits or fatty layers building up inside the coronary artery reduce the blood flow and so increase the likelihood of a heart attack. The medicine called statins can be taken. These reduce the amount of fatty deposits in our coronary artery and so therefore increase the blood flow to the heart. They reduce the chance of a heart attack or a stroke. And that's because they increase the ratio of high density lipoproteins, good cholesterol, to the low density lipoprotein, bad cholesterol. Statins reduce the formation of fatty deposits, increase blood flow to the heart. However, like all medicines and all drugs, statins come with risks and problems. You have to remember to take them every single day and they have side effects such as headaches or in the worst case, they could cause organ failure such as kidney failure, liver damage or even memory loss. OK, we're going to have a go at an evaluation question. For an evaluation question like this, you must say the advantages and disadvantages of both treatments and then give your personal opinion at the end. All right, pause the video, read the question and have a go, and then I'll go through the answers. Evaluate the use of statins compared with the use of a stent to reduce the risk of a heart attack. It's a six marker, so we're gonna get three marks for each, or four and two. The advantages of statins is that they're easy to take. They reduce the buildup of fatty deposits, low cost, and they keep the blood flowing to the heart. However, there are side effects. You have to take them every single day, and you might forget to take them. Don't forget some of those side effects you could score marks for are headaches, kidney failure, or liver failure. The advantages of a stent is that it holds the artery open. Again, it increases blood flow. The effect is immediate. You tend to have rapid recovery from stent operations, and they last a long time. The disadvantages is that there's always a risk of infection, a thrombosis or blood clot, and possibility of a heart attack. All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe. Let's get to the marks.